This is the tenth video in this series working with the MakeCubin model in Blender. And in the last video, we left off adding a few placeholder types of bones to the head of the model. And in this video, I'm going to kind of demonstrate the use of these bones. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to parent the rigging to this model to start off. So I'll go into object mode, select the model, select the rigging, and control P, parent, create vertex groups for bone heat. Take the rigging into pose mode. Turn off the name so I can see a little bit better. And grab the IK bone. And I'm going to raise the arm. So I'll grab that and raise the arm up. In raising the arm up, I discover that there's a large tendency for the underarm to pull out because the upper arm bone has attached a fair amount of weight to that section of the model. So I would use a placeholder bone to anchor this section and to combat the amount of weight that the upper arm has applied to that. So I'm going to close that instance of Blender and we'll look at this one, which is prior to parenting. And that's how I'll experiment with with this rigging. I'll parent, have a look at what's going on and how to fix it. So I'm going to duplicate the collarbone here. I'll duplicate it, place it into the area of the underarm, give it a name. So I'm going to use my placeholder naming thing, arm, Give it a number because it will be one of two bones and a left hand assignment. I'll leave it parented to the spine because I want it to move in conjunction with the collarbone. Then I'll select the tip of that bone, move it more centralized into the model. And hopefully that will leave a little bit of that stretching happening in the back of the underarm where a little bit of stretching should occur and to give the impression of a muscle. Then I'll extrude that a second bone off of that and hopefully this bone will help to add a little bit of extra weight and combat the weight assigned by the upper arm bone. I'll change the name of that bone to PH arm 2 and get rid of the blender number convention for a duplicated bone. That way it will have the left hand assignment and again leave its parenting alone. In order for that bone to function properly, I need to add a copy rotation constraint. And I need it to copy the rotation of the collarbone. So I'll use Control alt c copy rotation. That will have the placeholder bone copy the rotation of the collarbone. Change the space to local and local. Because I changed the attitude of that bone when I moved the tip around and centered it on the model. That will offset that slightly different rotation. And when I rotate that bone, the placeholder bone will move in conjunction and maintain an uh, even width in between the bones and prevent it from stretching my armpit all out of shape. And with that placeholder bone added, we're ready to mirror the left hand side of the model into the right hand side of the model and this is a good point to create a save point. So saving our file, changing the name is a good idea at this point. Since this is the second try at the video I get a dialogue warning me I'm overwriting a file. So. I'll select all in the model, use the A key to select all, then I'm going to deselect all the central bones, the spine, hip, balance, and head bones, and all the ones that are in the center and have no left hand assignment. So I'll box deselect those using B and middle mouse button, and I'll just set my box from the right side of the model up to the Z axis, and that will leave all the left hand bones selected. I'll go Shift D and duplicate the left handed bones and drop them where they're at using the right mouse button. Change my pivot to 3D cursor using the period key. 
center my cursor onto the origin using shift C. I will place the cursor onto the zero point of all three axes. And then come into the armature dialog, into mirror, and mirror along X global. X global because that's the axes running side to side on my model. And that'll flip the bones over to the right hand side of the model. I can then use the W key to flip left right names. And this will change the name to arm plane right. And all the L's will be changed into R's and given a right hand assignment. At this point, I'm ready to parent. So I'll take the rigging into object mode, select the model, select the rigging, control P, make parrot to armature, create vertex groups from bone heat. And I'll turn off the names at this point because they're distracting. Select the rigging and take it into pose mode. And because I made a demonstration by raising the arm and adding that placeholder bone, I'll raise that arm again. And now that placeholder bone is serving to anchor and hold the underarm and prevent weight from too much weight from being assigned to the upper arm bone. I also like to raise the arm in this fashion because of the reason I decided to use a collada or a wavefront object posed with its arms relaxed. In that I found the collada file with its arm extended out like this it was very difficult to lower the arm into a natural type of pose and get a reasonable mesh deformation. So if I can raise the arm to that level with a, with a reasonable mesh deformation then I figure I've had a pretty successful run at it. Um, it isn't perfect, it's a little bit lumpy actually, but it is a fairly reasonable deformation for just having Blender assign the weights. And that's my goal with my rigging is to get Blender to assign the weights and not have to use weight painting, which I don't really much care for. I'm not very good at it. And I find it's time consuming and, and a process that really isn't, isn't um, as functional as it is work. <laughs> so I don't really much care for that process, the process of weight painting. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some problems I've had with parenting a rigging to a make human wavefront object. Maybe I'll try to, to generate that error a second time, but I will talk about the cure for that error. And as well, we'll look at parenting the eyes, teeth, tongue, and hair to the rigging as well, and get those functioning with the model. And look at just the overall action that we're getting out of this rigging as well. So that'll be in the future videos, and until then, happy modeling.